then power flush, basically show you how to set it up, power flush with a magna cleanse. And I'll show you what we've got, the system. So there's a power flush machine, it's a Thernox one, boiler, bin, it's a combi boiler. We're gonna be using the pump adapter from today's tools. So I'll put this all together and show you what it's like when it's connected. And we've got the magna cleanse there. Seven rads, so should be a nice one. So obviously all power flush machines are slightly different, but they will all have a few connections on them. One is your mains in. A lot of the time, you can just fill it up from there or back through the system with the filling loop. You've got a flow right hand side, flow left, so that'll be your flow and return and you can adjust which way it goes by this, sorry, this one, left or right. So that goes which way the water's gonna flow. You've got circulate setting and your dump setting. Different machines obviously have different ways. There's your dump connection, so that hose goes into a toilet or a drain, and there's your overflow. That's all you got. Right, it's just a bit warm. <laughs> We're all set up now. I will show you what we got. So the pump adapter there with your two hoses, the middle one is a return. That's the flow on the left. Obviously it can spin around anyway to make it fit. So they go and split. The return goes to your magna cleanse if you're fitting one. If not, it goes straight into one of the connections. And then I have another hose there leading into the power flush machine. So think of the magna cleanse as a bridge. So that will be my return now. So to confirm, one hose running to the magna cleanse, back out of the magna cleanse into the power flush. And then the other hose coming from the power flush straight in to the system. Yes, I've made a mistake on there. I can admit it. I've currently got my return going straight onto the flush machine and my flow is actually going onto the magna cleanse, but new boiler's going in, so it doesn't matter. We're not trying to um, not trying to protect the boiler. But yeah, normally you would have the return going into that, but I'm running out of adapters and this size adapter won't fit on there and time is of the essence at the moment. But yeah, normally you want your return back to the Magna Clean or Magna Cleanse and back to the Power Flush machine and then the other one just going straight into the flow. But yeah, mine is slightly switched around. But yeah, just be aware. Not necessarily a mistake, but sometimes you've got to adapt and overcome. And I'm working with what I can. So you can probably hear the flush is running. Rip -flop. I have been flushing, it's all going well. I've done my first dump and now putting in some X800 which just goes into there. Let that circulate around the system for around an hour and find that quite good chemical. And yeah, then we'll start agitating, do those kind of bits, try and loosen up some of the muck in the system, ready for the boiler to go into muck. Sometimes I like to switch between left and right, you see the pipes moving. In my head it just gives it a little zhuzhin um, on the rads itself, if you can imagine the velocity running through the rads, any muck there, if you're like switching left, right, left, right, or the flow of the water, should help disperse it a little bit. Any muck that's in there. And obviously I'll get the agitator on the radiators as well. Be careful with that, because sometimes if the radiators are weak or rusted, then I wouldn't risk that. So here we are, here's the agitator. Keep this little cloth with it. Um, it's basically like a big piece of rubber on a metal SDS chuck. Put it on your hammer drill, make sure that it's set to hammer. You don't want to be spinning. 
and that goes in. Let me show you the end. It's in forwards and back. And that will hopefully vibrate some of the muck from the rads. Let's say I put this cloth on there just to be on the safe side sometimes. It stays nice. So that's the end of that video. That's very unfortunate for those of you who have watched so far and wanted to see some real grimy system. Um, appreciate you watching and sticking with it, but unfortunately a few little technical issues and the rest of the footage can't be used. Um, it's just not loading properly um, and frozen basically. So I don't know what's going on there. I know there was an issue with the video freezing last week. So don't know what's happening because, yeah, I just don't know. Anyways, appreciate you watching. Still wanted you to have something. So it shows the setup of the Fernox machine and what you're looking for. It does a bit of agitating. So hopefully not a complete waste of time for anyone watching. Yeah, that's the real world of filming content. It just doesn't always go to plan. And to be honest, it's been like really dry in terms of content this last couple of weeks and it's been a real struggle to get anything interesting um unless you want to see just plain condensing boiler servicing gas safety checks like it's been busy on the breakdown side but again all pretty quick basic fixes nothing worth even filming or there's been a couple that i couldn't film for various reasons um yeah Sorry it wasn't a bit of a better video this week. Stick with me. Hopefully next week's better. Hopefully someone got something out of it. I don't know. You can set up a machine now. Um, ah, I did do the boiler the next day. And when I arrived the next morning, the customer said the heating has never been that hot before and that quick. And that was still with the old boiler. So new boiler's gone in there. So yeah. Power flush done well. <laughs> but yeah, you guys just can't see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate you here. Like, subscribe, a thousand by Christmas. Um, yeah, appreciate everyone here.